Here's a video we found languishing in our archives, long before YouTube, long before we were old, long before Skill Builder. There was the extension 35A. And it started with a crush. In fact, a mini crusher, which we hired in. There's no sense in picking all that rubble up, putting it in a skip, paying to get it taken away, and then buying in type one hardcore or whatever. You might as well just crush it up and stockpile it for a rainy day. The Mighty Crusher. And here is the rainy day. Never far away, but Robin, he's waterproof. 70 years old and still at it. Oh yes. I got a crush on you. Sweet pie. Look at that, we're millionaires. Rubble millionaires. And now, we got rid of the old shed. As you can see by the state of the bottom of it, I think it was long overdue. And now we've got the drain from next door and a leaking water main. More of that later. So with a hiding digger and a dumper, a one ton dumper, we dug the foundations. Where's that digger? Why isn't the digger doing this? In the end, it always comes down to a man and a shovel. Jono, he's a student of archeology. span He's come to Colchester for one reason and one reason only, and that's Roman ruins. And if he doesn't find any, he's gonna go back to France, a disappointed man. According to that, we should have done a trial hole and consultation with the building inspector. So we're gonna put concrete in there and Nicola looks impressed. Now, Roger will be lecturing people on wearing dust masks in a few years' time. But right now, like many young people, if we can call him young, he thinks he's bulletproof. Now, just watch this. Ooh, that is the old soil pipe. Let's not think about what's in that water. Tell him not to use that loo up there. And then under there is a spigot connection and he's got himself a FETCO on it. There he is. <laughs> Jono is going to a board meeting. And he's going to make a connection to the old existing drain which comes from the neighbour. You can get one just as you're slipping into the house. Look at that spotless white t-shirt. How does he do it? Oh look, a little bridge for taking the digger across. If that ends in tears, this video goes viral. Fingers crossed. Now Steve's going to try and grab that manhole out in one go, but actually the digger isn't man enough. Should have got a JCB. So it comes down to Roger and the DeWalt breaker to take out the manhole manually. There you are, big old lump of drain. Yeah, shreddies for breakfast, yeah, yeah, we know. Jono. For a student of archaeology, he's a pretty good dumper driver. Notice the complete lack of scars and scratches along that wall. Oh, well, apart from that little one. Oh, there it goes. But he did well. The kid done good. And the ever-growing pile 
This is for the muck away lorry because skips are prohibitively expensive in such situations. So everything is dumped out the front and then the grab lorry comes and takes it away. There are quite a few grab lorries one way or another. So back for another load. Roger is still in the proverbial. It's got about an inch to go. Right. So we just thought if I could just kind of fix out. this gully. Again, this is taking the neighbour's sink waste. Steve lends a hand. One way or another, they managed to get out enough concrete to get that gully onto the end of that pipe. Steve oh, yeah, yeah. So what I was going to do is just spade that out now and get a bit of clay that we can just do a temporary... Count the number of cigarettes that Steve smokes in these videos. Maintain his shit run, won't it? Yeah, yeah. And then when we got that pulled out... And this is a mini chamber. This is all we could get in between the neighbour's drain and the new foundation. Just big enough to give us access there. Because it's not too deep, you can get away with a mini chamber. But the guy next door wasn't very pleased. He said, how am I going to get into that? I said, you don't need to. Call a plumber. Now this is the building inspector getting down into the trench, a very rare occurrence in our part of the world. And what he's going to do is just have a look at the bottom of the trench, just digging, banging in a square piece of wood, basically. Diligent guy, really good. We like diligence, due diligence. So, sharp intake of breath. Hold your breath, guys. What's he going to say? Okay. Yeah, he said good. Yeah. Yep. Yippee. That means tomorrow morning we can pour the concrete. Get the ready mix on order. Nine o'clock sharp. Look at the state of that soil pipe. My goodness. And then we dug the soak away, so we thought we might as well have a fire in the pit. Always a good thing, fire in the hole. Very There's an old shed to burn. There you are, there's a level with so many choices of vial, you can choose anything you want. And now the light is fading and the digging goes on. And we're having to shutter up the side of this trench because there's such a lot of made up ground and it just keeps caving in. And then Steve is digging out or trying to dig out the last bit of the foundation. And we've hit that lead pipe. And suddenly, oh no, back to this. This is a little out of sequence, but doesn't matter. This is basically putting in some props for the shuttering so that we can pour that concrete in the morning. That's the only reason we're still working late. So here's the burst pipe in the trench, which is slowing things down a bit. You can see the water bubbling up, gushing main. And of course, we've got the next door neighbour on it as well, which complicates matters somewhat. Sorry. So while well, Steve digs out and has another cigarette, and Jono gets the pickaxe on. Oh, we've got a bit of light. Lovely. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Take it away, Jono. Right, get me out of here. Beam me up, Scotty. Lovely, warm up by that fire. Now I can see the pipe. A little lead repair. This is actually just a branch that went into the outside WC. So if I can cap it off for now and get the water back on, everybody will be happy. See all those electrics on the wall there? Every single one of them is live. All nice light on the front of that digger. Obviously intended to work at night. Come home to a real fire. The final shot of the day. <coughs> All the boys standing around, final cup of tea of the day. Bloody good day's work. Just discussing tactics for the morning. The ready mix arrives tomorrow. So um, I think they're discussing where to start. I am Aussie Mendes, King of Kings. I said, look upon my works, almighty, and weep. <laughs> Here we go, 
there's just no stopping these boys. Um, Roger's buried deep in the hole. He's doing his plumbing bit, aren't you? A little bit, mate. It's a bit dangerous down there. You're not, gonna have a, nah, you're right. not having a collapse in, are you? I've been down. You've been down dirty before. holes and that. They usually just John's, John's you, coming fast. Steve, where are you? They usually just hand you over a. John's coming across fast to meet him. Well, you've got to replace that, haven't you? Yeah. All the way through. All the way through. New pipe. Ooh. Check the drawings, Robin. Check the drawings. No Mickey Mouse. We don't do Mickey Mouse, mate. No. We don't want leaking pipes under. John said to do So we have to punch out the last bit of this ground because sometimes the digger can't get where the man can. Reaches the parts diggers can't reach. So John o and I are going to meet each other in a kind of French English, because John o lives in France, channel mini channel tunnel dig. And here we are the next morning and the ready mix has arrived and we're going to try and do it over the wall here but we decided it's not going to work there's too much of a height difference between the two careful when you walk behind the dumper steve so what's steve going to do now he's always going to drive something so jono is going to go around into the road and we'll put down a bit of polythene because we're diligent builders and line it up line it up with the back of a mixer lorry so roger decides to chuck a rabbit cage on the road the idea being that Jono can just drive his front wheels up to that rabbit cage and every time he does, he's going to be in exactly the right position to receive a load. It's known as the rabbit cage trick. So Jono, you're a dab hand at this now. Don't spill that concrete, that's expensive stuff. Straight over the little bridge, go on boy, go on. It's only a ton. And into the trench. Too quick, doesn't matter, we can just paddle. So again, we've got a piece of something lying on the side there to keep the wheels in the same position so we can tip into the trench. You don't want to go too close to the trench with the front wheels because, oh look, it's exactly what's happened. Not because of Jono, but just because it happened. A bit of a trench collapse here. And a uh, quick bit of digging. This is what happens. You have to get that concrete in there as quickly as you can, especially when the ground is so ropey as this. It's just made up, and you can see that it's falling in all over the place. Could be worse, could be me doing it. We haven't cleaned that bit out yet because it's crumbling. We got around here, all right. Okay. Good question. Um, what's just this? Have you got any steel rods here at all? What were you thinking? Push some bars at the side of the foundation. Cool, cool. Careful of my pickaxe, Jono. That was supposed to give you a guide of how far forward to go with the wheels. That pickaxe has got an unbreakable handle. That's what it boasts. So Jono is going to test it. Actually, Jono, you should take that out of gear, my friend, when you do that, because it's just creeping forward. You can lose the dumper into the trench. Over the bridge. Over the bridge and away. Keep digging. That's our motto. Keep digging, keep smoking. Don't forget to put a ladder in there to get out. If you try to climb out on the sides of that bank, the whole lot will just cave in again. The man stands on the bridge. Do you think he knows he's being filmed? From the top window? See what you want. We need to get on their technical website to find out what the maximum span. But when you get the site, it's a shout out from the... Okay, all right. Now, Roger, that's me, having a go at driving the dumper. I've got to say that I'm not quite as at home with it as Jono was, but first day on the job what are you gonna do 
So long as I don't get it in the trench, I'll be all right. Oh dear, what are you doing there, Roger? So there you are, that's the first installment of our 35A extension. There are going to be loads more because we've dug all this stuff up, scrubbed it off, cleaned it up a bit and it's all going to go on to Skill Builder now because it seems that Skill Builder viewers love extension. So come back soon, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again in installment two.